Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, we're going to go over an amazing mate in two that is really hard to find. So if you want to take a couple of moments, try to see if you can find the checkmate in two. There's only one checkmate in two in this position, but there are plenty of other mates, mate in three, mate in four, but there's one way to do mate in two, at least with the first move. Okay. So I'm going to share some of my thoughts and how I was thinking about it, and maybe it will help you find the solution before I give it at the end. So when I was first thinking, I was looking at queen b2, and I noticed that in this position there's a mate in 3. So check after the king comes up to e3, check back to d4, this is mate, kind of a nice mate. But that's mate in 3, I need a mate in 2. So I was trying to see if maybe I can expedite that process a little bit. I was thinking about queen c1, maybe to try to sneak in here. Yeah, that sounds good, but that's not going to be mate in two. And just, just an obvious reason is you can block something that we put in the middle. You could just take this. Lots of ways to prevent that mate. The idea is there, but I would actually be losing, right? So... That's not working out. Instead, I was thinking, what other moves do I have? And I was looking at knight checks, but it just gets taken. Maybe if I can get the knight here, I'd be able to give mate. So maybe my first move is a quiet move, I was thinking. Maybe I can take this bishop and just move it back and say, what are you going to do? How are you going to stop my knight checkmate? It turns out bishop g2 is actually the first move. And maybe you saw that. But here's the cool thing about this puzzle. Black has a lot of responses. And they all lead to different checkmates. Kind of a rare thing to see. Okay, what do I mean? So, let's just look at the first kind of obvious one. If I just take here as black, the reason why I moved was because I'm threatening this mate, right? So this would be checkmate. That's not a bad variation. So it seems like b takes a4 is not really the forcing line that we're looking for. What if they did something else? Well, I'm threatening this check, right? That's because the king can't move. So what if instead this knight went to c3 or to e3? Well, let's say it went to e3, right? So now this would not be checkmate because the king, just to show it, the king would be able to run away because I've covered up my bishop. So instead, this is no longer the mate. Interesting enough, right? It's actually queen b2 is now the mate. Because these queen and bishop are cutting through the position. Nice. Okay. How about queen, or sorry, knight c3? Does that lead to a similar thing? Well, yeah, there's some symmetry here. Instead of it being queen b2 to checkmate, now it's queen f2. And these bishop looking pieces, of course one of them is a bishop, this one is a queen, functioning as a bishop in this case, is winning the game. Okay, what about other moves? So I have, we, we went over b takes a4, we went over these knight moves, is there any other defense? Well, yeah, there's always another defense, right? What about if they take these pawns? This pawn or that pawn? Okay, well if they take this pawn, this whole idea of knight c f3 doesn't work still because they can still run out. But now I can take rook b4 as mate. Right? Look at all these different ways I can mate. And similarly, if I take on f4, I'm sure you can see the mate here. I just mate with the rook. So that is what, five different mates that we looked at? After this first move, there are five different mates in this position. So what else is there to suggest? Maybe you want to prevent this. How else? How else can you stop it? Move the knight? We already went over that. You want to move the knight closer like this? I just showed you. Queen b3. Doesn't work. You want to move the knight back? Maybe that's an idea? Well, if you do that, it's not actually going to work because now bishop c5 is mate. Look at these bishops just cutting through the position. 
and I'm sure you can see the other direction. If I go this way with it, again, it's the symmetry in this position. That's part of the beauty of it. That's part of what makes things beautiful to begin with. The bishop's now cut this way. Look at that. This is incredible. So what else is there? I'm like looking to see. What other move can I show? The obvious idea, like I said, is this knight move. This whole bishop move was motivated for the knight move. And like I said, knight f3 is checkmate. It even says knight e6 is checkmate. Look at that. That's a nice one. You can get mated in multiple ways there. So, and I guess the same applies here. You want to take here? Does this work? Yeah, that does. How about this one? Look at this. There's mates everywhere. I just feel like this is so hard to see. But it all started with this very quiet bishop g2 getting out of the way, but nothing else creates those conditions. That's the only mate in two. Once I unlock this first move, I got mates everywhere. But I couldn't get those mates in two, at least, after anything else except bishop g2. I thought that was just amazing. I think the puzzle was composed in 1933 or something. That's just fantastic. You think about the amount of work. You know, there's no amazing chess engine back then, at least not to my knowledge when it comes to, I know you maybe can call some of these masters chess engines because <laughs> of how good they were. But it's just amazing to think about in retrospect. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you enjoy the content, be sure to consider subscribing. Half of my income goes directly to charity. So every subscriber helps me out a lot. It's free to you but it really helps me out and it helps out charity. So thank you so much. Bye.